the making of her royal highness queen carol's hat welcome to my youtube channel this is gb milena again and this is how i made this royal heart i'm going to show you how i made this you will need crinoline wires binding you need your tape measure your thread scissors and of course your sewing machine i have already cut the wires into the sizes that i want depending on how big you want the the, the fascinator or the hat and i have tied it into a circular shape i have four circles and two of it were the same size and the other the same the other two of the same size first you thread your needle and you start wiring your crinoline starting from one end until it goes round the circumference of the wire and that is what i am doing now you use the blanket stitch the way you just uh, wire your hat and that's an every millinery product that's how you're going to do it Renoli is one of the millinery product that is very fragile it's synthetic and if you are not careful if you pull out the strand it's going to affect the whole structure of or the shape of your crinoline so you need to be careful while you are wiring so I have to cut the excess and then overlap it at the overlap i started with another uh stitches and that is wiring i started the wiring from that point until you finish to the end so you do the first side as well as the, as the second side of the crinoline so you have two at the end of your project you have two circles so this is the first one that has been done then i need to start with the second one again you take the your wire and your crinoline and you start for the with the second circle that you need to do and you do the same as you did for the first one make sure that you secure the edges very well so that it will not come off that is the second ring and the second circle now what you need to do is that you have the both circles but it is still uncovered so you will cover it with the binding you need to use this small binding if you use peter cham peter cham is usually big and uh, have a wide width so for me i prefer to use a binding which will which is small in size so that it can be neat the smaller the size of the your binding the neater your heart will be so and this in this process you need your machine your sewing machine to actually do that you need to be careful in this case because you are using a very thin binding and because it's very thin there is every possibility for you to hit your needle the needle of your machine on the wire that is on the crinoline so you need to be careful 
about uh, the, the sowing of this aspect of the heart. Another thing that you need to be careful about is that you did not pull the strand of your crinoline. Because if you pull the strand, it deforms your the shape of your crinoline, like I said earlier. And one thing that you would like to do in order to avoid that is that you make sure that you are using a very good needle. The needle that you are going to use for crinoli should be a very smooth and a uh, needle that is new so that it will not be able to take out the strand. So you cover both sides of this of the circle or of the ring. The first side, the second side, and then for the second ring, the first side and the second side. It is very important that you make it to be neat because that's where the beauty of the heart lies. If it is not neat, then it will not be beautiful. So we need to cover the other side as well. And that's what I'm doing now. And the two edges have been covered with the ribbon. The next thing to do is that you fold one side of the biggest uh, ring or circle. You fold it, you use the biggest one because the, the smallest one is the one that you use for a bow at the back. But the biggest one, will be the one that forms the 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 heart itself so i use my thread and needle to hold one of the side together and that's what i'm doing now sewing it together and this sewing must be you must you need to be careful about it try to bend your wire a bit of course, you need a wire that is pliable, a soft wire, and not the one that is not pliable. Then you use the second ring, which is the smaller one, to do the bow. The first thing is that I press it in and the other side, and then so that edge, tack it together. Then do the same with the other side, second side, and tack it. It seems to be hard because 
I need to clip the the wires. I mean, I need to clip with the the ribbon rather together. So that's why it is hard for me to dip in my needle. Having done that, the next thing is to fold the, the needle together and shape the wire. You shape according to what you want. So for me, I need a bow and I'm shaping it as a bow. And then you use your needle to tack it. It is important that you secure it very well. And after having the bow, then you use the glue gun, apply the glue, and then join the both sides together. Press it very hard, put pressure on it so that it will not come off. Then you can now add your trimmings for me, I want to keep it simple and so just add a black uh, flower there. And you can use a comb or a clip depending on what you prefer. But in this occasion, I prefer the clip and that is it. Thank you for watching. And if you have not subscribed, please do like, share and comment. Bye for now.